Hello everyone, I am Arvind Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can get Tumblr post data saved in your spreadsheet automatically. Now what we are doing here, first we are going to create a new post in our Tumblr. After that what will happen, that new post will automatically be sent to our Grist account and a new record will be created on our Grist account based on that Tumblr post information. Now. To do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service, Pabli Connect, which will help us connect Tumblr and Grist together. Now, if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen. Now, what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and type in pabblypabli.com slash connect and as soon as we will do that and press enter, you will be redirected to the screen here and you will see that we will have two options first one is sign in second one is sign up signing in is very easy if you already have an account you can just go for sign in directly signing up is also very easy it will only take you two minutes to do that and signing up will also give you 100 free tasks from our side every month so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here so i already have an account here so i'll just go for sign in here and then i will click on access now for pabli connect and now what we are going to do you can see we have all the automations here now I'm just going to click on create workflow and I will give my workflow a name. Now here I am connecting Tumblr to Grist. So I'm giving it this name. You can name it whatever you want to. It's completely up to you. Click on create. And after that, you can see we have two windows here. First one is trigger and second one is action. Now trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. Action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So trigger means when this happens, action means do this. Now what we are going to do, we are going to select Tumblr here. And after that, you can see in trigger event, what we have to do, we have to go for new post because we are creating a new post and we are creating a new post in blog. So we are going to go for new post in my blog, then click on connect, add new connection, connect with Tumblr. Here you have to give authorization to Pabli Connect and let me tell you Pabli Connect does not take any chances with your data and your data is absolutely safe with Pabli Connect. So just click on allow. And after that, <clears throat> what a type of uh, Tumblr post do you want to make? Here we have options, text, quote, link, video, audio, photo or chat. So you can see here all these options are available. What we are going to do, we are just going to use text one because I am creating a text post. If you want to create any other kind of post, you can do that. But we are using a spreadsheet program in the action window, which is Grist. So we are not going to use any photo or something like that. We are just going to use text. Blog is Pavli. And now what will happen whenever I am going to click on save and send test request, you will see that the uh, interface will take the latest post from my Tumblr account. So from my Tumblr account, the latest post was this one. So you can see need of automation. Here also you can see need of automation. And this is the description. So it has taken the latest post. If you want to post another, uh, you know, what should I say? If you want to do another post here, you can do another post and then click on save and send test request again to have the new post in your inter uh, in your public connect account. Now let us just do that. Automation video. I am teaching an automation on how to connect Tumblr with Grist. Click on post now and as soon as we will do that, you can see this is the new text post I have done on my blog. I'll go back and I will click on save and send test request again. And when I will do that, you can see I have the new uh, post in my Pabli Connect account automation video as a response. So you can see here automation video. I am teaching an automation on how to connect Tumblr with Grist. I forgot the C, I think. Okay, it's completely all right. So you can see our first step of connecting our Tumblr to our Pabli Connect account is now complete. Now what we are going to do, we are going to choose the action step. And in action uh, step, we are going to choose Grist here. And what we are going to do, we are going to create a record. Now click on connect, add new connection. Now it is asking you for the token key. So from where you are going to get the token key, you have to follow these instructions here and you have to go and uh, pull out the token key from there and paste it here, okay? So this is our Grist account. We will go to profile settings. And now here you will see 
we will have the API key. This is the API key or token key. Copy this, go back and paste it here. Click on save. And now as soon as you will click on save, your Grist account will be connected to your Pabli Connect account. And here you can see team is personal, workspace is home because I have two workspaces. Let me just go back here and show you. Second one is examples and templates. First one is home. And we are going to work on Pabli Connect automation. So we will click on Pabli Connect automation from here. You can see the name is Tumblr blog. So here automatically it will take the table name Tumblr blog. Now what we are going to do, we are going to make title here. So these are some titles. I am just going to refresh them. So you can see I have refreshed and renamed these uh, blogs and now I will go here. I'm sorry, I should not say blogs, uh, the fields. So now I will go here and I will again click on a refresh. And when I will refresh this, you can see that the Tumblr blog has been uh, uh, refreshed. The Tumblr blog table has been refreshed and now we have blog name, blog title and blog URL. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let me take the data from this window here and it will let me put the data here in this window. So first I'm going to go for blog name. So I'll map the blog name, which is this Pabli software blog. Now I'm going to map blog title, which is Pabli. And now I'm going to map blog URL, which is this one. Then I will click on save and send test request. And as soon as I will do that, you can see a new ID has been generated. And we, when we will go back here, you will see that I have this blog URL here. And whenever I'm going to click on this blog URL, you will see that I will have my blog open here. And this is the post automation video. I am teaching an automation on how to connect Tumblr with Grist. Okay. Now let us try it one more time with an another example so that we can see if our automation is working fine or not. So I'll write automation successful. The automation between Tumblr and Grist is successful. Okay. I'm just going to post it here. Now what will happen whenever you're going to post it here, it will go into your uh, Grist database, but it will take some time. And now why it is taking some time because whenever we are uh, going to send data from Tumblr to Grist, we are going to use a trigger which is called polling. And because of the polling trigger, the data taken from uh, Tumblr account to our Grist account will take some time to come. Now it can take few seconds and it can even take few minutes. So we are going to wait for a few minutes and let's see in how much time our data comes here. And then let me just come back at you when my data will come here. And as you can see, we have this new link here and we have this new data here. So I'll go there and click it and you can see this automation successful. The automation between Tumblr and Grist is successful. This was our new post. So friends, this is how you can connect your Tumblr and your Grist so that whenever you are having a new post in your Tumblr blog, an automatic record will be created on your Grist account and then you can check it later on. Then you can uh, view it later for several other purposes. So I hope you loved this workflow and you loved this automation. And if you want to use this automation, use this workflow into your account, you can just go into my description box and uh, uh, clone it into your account. For that, you need to have an account and for that you need to go and sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month. So do not wait, go and sign up now. Hasta la vista. So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now, if you want any other events to add it in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now, I just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you